A man, a road rage incident, killed a black woman. He now has a $1.5 million bond. Let's put up his picture for a mask here. So this is an Oklahoma man. He's in a county prison on seven figure bond on a seven figure bond bond after being charged with fatally shooting a black woman in what's being described as a road rage incident. This happened on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, excuse me, September 7th, Julian Zavaleta, then a 21 year old was charged with first degree murder and use of a vehicle in the and in the discharge of a weapon in the shooting of a black woman on Friday, August 19th, while she was parked at an auto zone in Tulsa. OK, let's put up the picture of the victim. This is Miss Chantel Jones. Miss Jones was 25 years of age, young, was the victim around 2.20 p.m. Witnesses say they saw her get out of her vehicle moments before Zavaleta driving his gray car came up and shot her from his car striking her in the abdomen. Ms. Jones was rushed to a hospital. She died from her injuries at the hospital. Charging documents, um, they state that the now 22-year-old fled the scene. Where? He fled the scene after he shot the woman, but contacted police a half hour later to confess that he did it. Tulsa Police Homicide Sergeant Brandon Watkins asserts Jones may have been the victim of road rage after she cut off this individual as she was entering the auto parts parking lot. The man was picked up by cops where he was surrounded by his family members at the family meal business south of the crime scene. There he was arrested. His gun was taken by the police. His car was towed. Officers later booked him into the Tulsa County Jail where he remains in lieu of a $1.5 million bond. Prosecutors charged him with the two counts on Wednesday, August 24th five days after the shooting and the day of his 22nd birthday. Murder in the first degree in Oklahoma holds a hefty penalty that is one of the harshest in the nation. If convicted, he will face life in prison. 45 years in the state of Oklahoma with eligibility for parole after serving 85% of the sentence. A life sentence without the possibility of parole or even death referred to as a capital murder. According to attorney Matt Swain, a criminal defense attorney in the state. Let's put up this next picture. Have to remember, people are always connected to an ecosystem of family and community. Sierra Diaz, Jones' girlfriend, said Jones is originally from New York, came to Tulsa to get away from the big city and to get away from crime. She loved the family feel in Tulsa and spent all of her time with her girlfriend's son. He loves her. He's still asking for her girlfriend's son he's still asking for her like mommy are you going are you going with miss Chantel? diaz said she saw jones just before jones was shot and killed i literally watched her walk out the door and never come back diaz said diaz said jones was a special person and an angel on the earth she was a genuine person she will give you the shoes off her feet i've seen her give shoes to somebody before she said all right. Fair sad. Um, Senator, thoughts on this? Yeah, very sad. Uh, condolences to the Jones family. And to have that young man have so much rage at that age and people believing that a gun can solve your problems. This is just another example of a gun craze society that we live in, in the United States of America, linked to toxic ma male masculine masculinity. And, and I, you know, they saying that she cut him off. We don't know if she cut him off or not, regardless of whether she did or she didn't. He had no right to right. take his gun out and to kill her. And as you just laid out, Doc, to leave many people grieving her death. This is tragic and it is horrifying because it could have been any one of us or anybody that we love as well. You have a gun culture in America that teaches guns solve problems. You have a devaluing of life in America promoted by the most mainstream politicians you can imagine. And you have the context of racism, bigotry, sexism, all at one time. And it creates moments like this. Very sad.